Hello Pisces, welcome into my channel. Thank you so much for being here. This is Sage Sunset Healing Tarot and I'm here to present general tarot messages for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. So let's get into your tarot messages for the week ahead Pisces. Thank you so much for being here. What I'm seeing is there's a love offering coming into your world within this week and it's coming in swiftly. Someone wants a new beginning with you, wants to start over, offer you some love here, okay? Maybe they're sorry, you know, maybe it is an apology or just a gesture of love and affection of appreciation. This is your energy Pisces, water energy, caring, nurturing, standing out, looking beautiful. Someone sees that you have value in yourself, like you're looking prosperous right now, you're looking good, you're giving, you're being of service, you're enjoying your life, you're glowing up beautifully and that energy is attracting love offers to you. You may receive plenty of this kind of energy coming into your world and they come in rather swiftly to you, okay? This could be a person from your past that wants to come back and offer you love. Maybe you're focusing on another person, Pisces. Maybe you're focusing on an earth sign. You know, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So there's an offering. So this reading I feel is going to be covered by love. It could be union with yourself. It could be union with another person. Union with yourself means that you're taking the best care of yourself waking up every day saying making sure that you feel loved you are taken care of you're hydrated your mind is right a union of love is also between two people this is another earth sign here or this could also be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius union wow this is my <laughs> this is the marriage card okay it could just be an alliance a business alliance or this is marriage between you and this energy up here that I was just talking about. Maybe you want to get married, you're looking into your life, maybe wanting to create balance and stability, wanting to give this, this union a chance, maybe wanting to really live out the, your best self as a nurturing energy, a provider, someone who is able to hold another person emotionally, to give emotional fulfillment, just wanting to really express that love to someone else. Wow, emotional fulfillment. Uh, maybe you really want to move forward, Pisces, in love, in this love connection. You feel like you have a lot to be thankful for, a lot of love coming into you. Maybe you're, you want to choose to go down this road, but you're not sure how we get to really align that energy forward. Your wish is coming through. So for those of you who want to be married, your wish is coming through because with the wish fulfillment card, along with the card of marriage and unification, along with the two of cups energy definitely marriage is coming up for you maybe in the summer in july when there's a lot of butterflies around oh my gosh <laughs> Woo. all right that is the queen of cups energy beautiful and it's represented here also in the plain card spices so you're being covered by this motherly pure energy that is just a reflection of who you are intuitive uh caring nurturing emotionally grounded and stable virtuous pure just intelligent also that's you this is you in your reading right here I, i'm happy to see cups card coming out so soon for you pisces pisces this is also maybe you wanting to commit or devote yourself to another person in love or this is a person that wants to commit themselves to you in love energy very virtuous this is your energy Pisces where you're very intuitive uh, you're, you're a visionary a seer maybe a sage you have that those abilities within you Pisces I do feel that this union is going to be a blessed one that is really divine coming together it could be between you and another water sign Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio here. Okay, then we have the Justice card. Balance is being brought forward as if something is meant to happen. 
so like something divine as i just mentioned divinity earlier as if this connection is very divine orchestrated by like divine energies and it just needs to come together and i feel like when both of you pisces come together you both will bring sufficient amount of blessings to one another to each other's life you're going into this connection happy bountiful joyous okay moving away from i feel distraction energies of distraction people that want to come toward you with vibrations of you know that sexual attraction maybe wanting to bring these messages to, for to to you uh maybe you were dazzled by these offerings in the past but i feel like now you're looking for more you're looking for more maybe there's still love offerings coming into you some of you could be moving or maybe you you want to be settled now pisces you're ready to really settle in settle down commit so some of you could have just uh, moved into a place where you change your residence, so you moved and are more settled. Change of residence, uh, migration, someone leaving or you leaving someone to move forward. Okay, maybe moving away from feeling stuck or trapped in a situation that wasn't helping you. Or this is just an idea, feeling of being trapped. So it wasn't physically <laughs> trapped but emotionally emotionally bound wanting more but feeling like you had to stay put but you couldn't remain there because your zest for life your thrill your enthusiasm was really causing you or calling you to want to move away move forward some of you might be coming into a phase in your life this week where you feel a little bit trapped, caught, like you don't know what direction to move in at this point. See, wanting to move forward, thinking of picking up the pieces, Pisces, to move forward, it could be making this love offer to someone else and not knowing how to do so. Not knowing what emotions, like what to say, what do I say? <laughs> what do I say? Will this person even accept what I'm saying? Maybe choosing between wanting to go off on your own or to stay committed in this relationship. This is also you aligning with your intuition and your intuition could be telling you to move forward. This is you aligning with your, your sixth sense. So even though your surroundings may feel sometimes like you have no choice or you're stuck, there's a deeper intuition in you or a higher sense that's gonna cause you to elevate and to really decide how to move forward. Mm, another card of balance here. We have three tools, two, 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 out on the board for you. Uh, really aligning with your value. Maybe in, in, the, in your home, your residence, you feel a bit unstable or you're trying to create stability here in the value that you bring. Um, being grounded in your sense of value, being grounded, having emotional stability surrounding you, you know, not being not being uh, moved by your emotions, but you actually managing and monitoring your emotions as represented here with the Queen Cups energy. This could be an earth sign in your life too. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that you're trying to create balance and stability with here. moving away, being of service, being creative. So this is all this week for you. Moving toward what's going to serve you, possibly wanting to, off, to make a proposal to someone. Maybe you have already bought the ring or someone is coming into you to make a proposal. Maybe some of you are afraid that your person could be wanting to make a proposal to someone else. And that's just for very few of you. Well, I feel like your heart wants to move forward and love this person. Wow. Oh my gosh. We have the Nine of Swords here. That's torment. So we have both Nine. We have the Nine of Cups and the Nine of 
swords energy so the nine of cups is that wish fulfillment um, just being happy emotionally balanced and stable and you would say the nine of swords is like the opposite energy where you feel like you, you are losing you are tormented you're not emotionally balanced and grounded right now right can't sleep at night Oof. maybe someone is leaving or you feel like someone left you or took something from you this could be you thinking of a past energy that hurts you but this could be you contemplating if you should take an offering or if you should make an offering going forward of love right you might be feeling this energy this week but i believe you'll be coming to an end with a 10 here where you'll be wanting this new beginning and that's how i feel you'll definitely be moving forward to make this love offering possibly to a fellow water sign pisces you see this person as being really valuable in your life and let us look at another card hmm. the five so i do feel like where you are i feel that energy of being drained of not wanting to be held back wanting to really move forward here move away move out of the cold move back into the warmth into alignment with love and then finally we have the six of wands card so it's saying you're going to be victorious overall you're going to get back up on your horse and continue moving forward you get what i'm saying because we have two cards of moving forward we have one of moving away here or moving toward and then we have one of moving forward out of certain energies feeling good being victorious moving with grace pride integrity dignity moving with your innate creative sense your intuition and yes i feel like you're following your sixth sense here trusting in your heart space knowing what is right for you and what isn't okay pisces all right so this has been your reading pisces yes yeah, so this has been your general tarot card reading for this week Pisces thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you found messages here that resonates with you and are able to help you along your journey remember Pisces on your way out that you can be do have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you're all and all is within you much love take care bye